Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on our 2006 Volvo XC90. It's quite unique in that it's got the Yamaha V8 engine and it's in absolutely immaculate condition. In fact, I challenge you to find a better 2006 Volvo XC90. We, have, we certainly haven't seen one this good in years. It's got two remote keys to it, a great service history. You can see the keys here. It's got a wood grain steering wheel and 145,000 kilometres since new. It's been very well looked after. Right down to the leather and the service history. It comes in this beautiful light green colour with cream leather interior. It's a seven seater. Surprisingly, these are actually very reliable. And I believe the V8 came with a stronger gearbox compared to the, the six cylinder and the turbo models. It's got a two way tailgate. We've just given it a quick wash. You really don't see family cars in this condition. Look at the carpets. There's a heap of receipts here for work that's been done over the years. It's got a tow bar. And just look at the condition. It's been very, very well looked after. Looking down the side, I can't see any dents or scratches. It's just beautiful. It's got tinted windows. And the good thing is about this car, it's had two owners, I believe, and both owners have kept receipts, I um, I'm told, since the car was brand new. The very back seats are very good. It doesn't have a sunroof, which I think when cars get of age is probably a good thing. Um, you get more headroom, obviously, without a sunroof. And down the track, you know, if they're not looked after and you don't check the, the drain holes and things for dirt, they can clog up and cause issues. Even the carpets are very good. It's got electric seats, memory on the driver's side. But yeah, I just I can't get past the colour. I think it's gorgeous. The headlights are nice and clear. The V8 obviously was, was the top of the range. And I'll start it up. That sounds fantastic. Love the wood grain steering wheel. Let's turn it on nice and smooth it's done 145,000 kilometers the next service isn't due until 153 that red light's just a seat belt oh it sounds fantastic it's also got the updated sound system it's just really nice the light interior if you're looking online at these xc90s i think you'll find that most of them are silver with black which may be practical but is also quite boring. Surprisingly the V8 is quite cheap to run. In terms of maintenance, you know, it really is an engine that's built to last. They have the same engine in the Volvo S80 as well. And I believe they've got a modified version for racing as well. We'll have a look under the bonnet. In terms of fuel consumption, we can actually have a look. I'll check the computer. It's just been driven around town. It hasn't been on the freeway or anything. Yep, so we know the driver's door's open. So it's saying the average is 16.8 litres per 100 kilometres, but that is just around town. We've moved it inside and outside, etc., doing washing and things, so... I would suggest that it's probably more around 15 litres per 100 k's around town, maybe up to 16, depending on the driving you're doing on the freeway, you'd get probably 10, possibly just under. 